Hello, everyone. Have you ever entered a transaction in QuickBooks Online and then subsequently lost it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to find almost any transaction that you have entered easily and quickly. My name is Ronica Canna. I am a CPA, a CFA, and the founder of Montreal Financial where you can find lots of resources for small businesses and self-employed people, I encourage you to sign up for my newsletter. Okay, so QuickBooks actually has a very simple way to find transactions that, have, that you have just entered, or if you just want to find a transaction that you entered in the, in the past. And the way to do that is to simply go over to the magnifying glass on the right hand side, click on that, and you will see there is a drop down. And the drop down shows you the recent transactions that have been entered. And I cannot tell you how many times I have entered a transaction and then I have needed to see it or change it and this tool has been incredibly useful. So again, you can see uh, a number of the most recent transactions that were entered. And if you click on it, so if I click on this first one, it takes me to the actual transaction. And then I can see it, I can see where it went. It went to bank charges and it would have come from my bank account. I can change it if necessary. I can delete it. I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to close. Alternatively, using the same search function, you can go and search for a transaction by entering certain criteria. So I am going to click on this. And here you have some filters that you can put in to find your transactions. So it gives you some transactions over here. So you can put in the date range if you remember that. You can put in the transaction type. So if you know if it was a bill or um, an expense, then you can enter that here if it came from your credit card. Uh, alternatively, or the reference number, etc. You can also just simply put in an amount. And so the transaction that we just looked at was $19. So I'm just gonna put in $19 here, apply, and you'll see it shows me the transactions that I entered for $19. This method is great and works most of the time, but it doesn't work all of the time. And so if there's a slight discrepancy or if QuickBooks Online does not see this as $19, it might not recognize the transaction. So now we are going to look at the second way to find pretty much any transaction that you've entered, modified, deleted, uh, et cetera. So let's go to reports on the left-hand side. And what you're going to do here is just type in audit log and click on audit log. And the audit log shows you all of the transactions that you have entered based on the filters that you use. So if you have one more than one user, you can check, you can enter the, the user from this dropdown. You can use the uh, a custom date range if you'd like, if you'd only want to look at transactions entered on a certain date. Uh, and um, so you can put in the dates here, and then there are different types of events that you can enter as well. So if you just put in lists, and let's say I want to look at the last seven years, I can see when I entered accounts, which is super useful. I can look at deleted, voided transactions. This is very, very useful when you're trying to figure out something that you or someone else might have deleted. And the audit log is much more than a place to find transactions. It gives you a record of all transactions that have been entered or changed or deleted 
which again, from a uh, internal control perspective can be super useful. So let's go back to all transactions. And here you will see that my last recorded expense was for $19. I can click on that and it will take me to the transaction. In addition, I can click on view and view will show me when it was entered. This was, this is the number of times it has been entered or changed. So if you have a transaction that you have entered or changed or deleted, the audit trail of this will show up here. So that uh, is pretty much it. Uh, when you are looking for that lost transaction, you should be able to find it uh, relatively easily. Keep in mind, there are multiple, numerous ways to find transactions in QuickBooks Online. And uh, some of the other ways are to go to your sales or to your expenses and uh, find uh, the transactions by using the filters. And alternatively, you could go to your balance sheet or profit and loss report. And keep in mind that every single transaction that you enter will show up either on your balance sheet or your profit and loss or both. So that is one way to find them as well, as long as you know what account they were entered to. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and uh, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.